is up, YouTube? Let's try this again, shall we? All right. I'll be making this um crazy custom pizza pie here, and um, well, I need to put a couple of the ingredients on. There's gonna be a little bit of pre-cooking involved, which won't take too long, but. 12 delicious patties ready to go. Well, here's our pie crust that we're gonna need for later. There we go, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna, you cut it long going this way, and then you cut it, flip it over, and then cut it long the other way. So go down this way, flip it over, go down this way. Actually, no, I wanna use a different knife because this one's, yeah. Got the right tools for the job. All right, so the reason why I'm filming this pre-cook process is so you can kind of see what I'm doing here before too long. Now see what happens when you cut them the long way twice? You get these nice little french fry shapes. Just like that, beautiful. I'm gonna call it making a pizza pie. And people are gonna look at it and go, oh, it's the same shit he cooks on almost every video. <laughs> Who cares, you don't like it, don't watch. <laughs> Let the haters talk smack, they're not worth your time. You know that, YouTube? You know what, I'll keep the video going while I do it on the phone, that way we can get it from different angles. That'll make the fans happy. What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's your Casper Bad Boy back at you with another video. And right now we're making a pizza pie, literally. There are a couple of ingredients I wanted to like pre-cook before actually making the pie. And I did some of the pre cooking stuff on another video which I'm still filming right there hey, hey double videos all right so I'm unplug the phone now in this here pizza pie we're gonna use this as the crust literal graham cracker crust because why not I'm gonna throw in some taters and some beef and some bacon some pork grinds some Doritos some of those cheesy cheese puff jalapeno stuffs some pepperoni, some cheese, some sauce. Who knows how it's gonna taste, but we're about to find out. Now I got to a burger patty cooked up for the pie. I guess these are ready to go as well. And before I fry up these uh, French fries for the um, for the uh, pie, how do you cut them to make them look like French fries? You cut them going down the potato, and then you flip it over and do the same thing. And when you do that, you're going to get these longer cube-shaped classic french fry shape. Yeah. I'm going to leave the skin on them just because when I was feeling lazy and, yeah. All right, so now we got our burger patty cooked up. We're going to turn the stove back up to 8. And get our oven preheated. Let's go with 420 degrees. And there we go. It'll get our oven on the preheat so that way when we go to stick the pie in, we'll be ready to go. So now we got some of this black label thick cut bacon from Hormel. And we're going to open it up and we're going to uh, get ourselves a couple pieces and drop it in the pan. Fry it up real quick. Okay, that bacon's done. We're gonna transfer it to our product plates. So we got a little bit of grease going in there with that bacon grease, but we're just gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. That way we're not completely, yeah. Kinda go like that. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. We don't need a whole lot for these, just a little bit. But now all those potatoes we chopped up, We're gonna throw them in the pan. We're gonna add a little bit of butter to this mixture. Just like that, a couple of cubes of butter there. And right now I'm just taking this butter and spreading it all over the potatoes. You like French fries? You put a little bit of salt on these after you're done cooking them, there you go. And you think just because it's homemade, you think, oh, it's gonna be super difficult? No, no. Last time I tried to make homemade French fries, they were a disaster, but I learned a couple tricks from some friends of mine who know how to cook and I'm going to take the knowledge that I've learned and apply it to a cooking video so I can share the knowledge because knowledge is power. 
YouTube. Knowledge is power. Hold on a second. There we go. Pick up the camera. Bah. I had the fork and the camera in the same phone. I'm, but the fork and the camera in the same hand. Yeah, I meant to say hand, not phone, but there you go. Anyways, YouTube, this is how you do it. A nice thing about homemade french fries, not only are they super easy to make, but holy crap are they cheap. Potatoes are not expensive, man, and that's the nice thing about it. So take a look, let's take a look here and see what we got. Mmm. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Some of these potatoes got a little, they're nice and thin. And they're a little bit crispy on the outside. Mmm. But nice and chewy on the inside. Oh, no, you get a bit, get back here. These homemade fries are the bomb. We need to get our pie crust going. So now we're gonna take our pie crust and start filling it with stuff. We need some pepperonis. We need some cheese. And we need the sauce. Now we're running out of space here on this counter, so I'm gonna put some of it over here. We'll start off with a little bit of sauce, some of this uh, Prego roasted garlic parmesan, and you don't need a whole lot, just a little bit to kind of put on the bottom here, to kind of dab it on there just a little bit, just like that. Now we're gonna add pepperonis to the these uh, pepperonis right here. Big old slices of pepperoni. So now we're going to begin the very painstaking process of layering it. It's right there. This is going to be a labor of love, YouTube. All right. So now we have all of our pepperonis in there, just like that. Let's add some more sauce. Just like that. I'm gonna add just like, okay, maybe like a little bit more, right? There we go. Okay. Mm. Now we need to add um, some other stuff to it. Oh, excuse me, I farted. We got the HERS jalapeno poppers. Not gender based, just the name of the company. And I wanna take and I wanna crush them up. Okay, there's those six Cheetos crushed up right there. Kind of maybe some pork grind. Now on top of our chips, we're gonna add some potatoes. We'll put a couple on here so you can, and then we'll show you what it looks like before we finish doing other stuff to it. Is this pie gonna be healthy? No, pie is pie is usually never healthy. To be fair, <laughs> mm. I want to add some bacon on top of these potatoes. Okay, here's that pie so far with all the bacon and the taters piled up on top there. We'll do another layer of sauce on top, but we don't need a whole lot of it though, just a little bit more on top. What's a pizza without some mozzarella? We got that mozzarella pizza cheese. Let's put the beef on top of the bacon. That's what I'm feeling for this recipe. I'm gonna take our beef and tear it up into tiny little chunks. One second, YouTube, I gotta show the other camera real quick. Okay, so this is what our pie looks like so far. Looking pretty good. Oh, YouTube, take a look at that. Oh yeah, now we're talking, now we're rocking. Now we're gonna add a sprinkle of cheese on top. Wait, cheese? What is this, cheesecake? I thought it was a pie. Oh. Uh, Okay, there's my bad joke for the video. Ignore that one. Six of pepperonis on top. Put it on top of our uh, our cheese. I don't know if I call this baking. I don't know what the heck you'd call it. Like next next level cooking is what I'd call it. And they want to eat one on camera because I can. Ow, ow. Mm. I'm just gonna take a couple of these French. And you know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah. Could we? Should we? Why not? Let's do one more sprinkle of cheese on top, but not a very big one, just enough to, uh, you know. We are ready to go, yo. So what I want to do is I want to turn the oven on to timer. Uh, 
Let's bake it for 20 minutes and see how it looks after that. And now, you two, I should do a couple things here real quick. Now that our pie's in the oven. I noticed the countertop at the side of the stove is a little bit messy, so... I'm gonna take care of that real quick. That's just part of cooking. You gotta clean up after you're done. Cooking the food, eating the food. Cooking and eating the food are the best parts. Nobody likes the cleanup, but... A good chef will always clean up after their cooking mess. And that's just common fucking knowledge, man. I sp pardon my French, YouTube, but I'm just saying. Little kids shouldn't be cussing, even if they hear adults do it. I know it's hypocritical, believe me, I know. But that's just beside the point. <sighs> well, anywho, tubes, I want to end the video over here on... On this part right here on... On the uh, QuickTime player. Yeah. Whew, that video's ending. Or that video ends, this one continues. If kids want to cuss, they should use kid-friendly cuss words. Like butt cheese and poopy breath. And, you know, booger brains. I didn't have enough money to grab soda pop at the store, but that's alright. The tantalizingly delicious taste of nacho cheese Doritos. Let's keep that can- well, no you don't. Stay right there. Now when you're taking stuff out of the oven, you don't want to burn your hands because that would hurt. So whenever you're taking hot stuff out of the oven, make sure you have a nice, nice pair of oven mitts to keep your hands protected. I can't say I'm not happy with the way that turned out because I'm not gonna lie, YouTube, that looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna set that down, let that cool off. Okay, I gotta show a close-up of this, of this pie here. Look, look at that, YouTube. Doesn't that just look delicious? Let's give it a, a cut. I probably should have, damn it. <laughs> the bottom of the crust just completely fell apart. Son of a bitch. I mean, the concept of it was a good idea. Don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, they didn't stay together like I thought it would was going to, unfortunately. That's all right, though, YouTube. We're still going to eat it. Well, YouTube, I'll give myself props for trying. It's an original recipe. Just have ourselves a slice of it now. Live and let learn, I suppose, as the age-old expression goes. That's what I have to say, YouTube, is son of a pickle-licking, toad-sniffing butt cheese. <coughs> but that's all right. We're still going to eat it because you never know. It might taste good. I don't think we can cut into it. Let's just take a bite out of it. Despite the fact that the crust fell apart, this is pretty good. A bit of a cooking disaster, but it still tastes good. Right there, you can see that cross section. This turned out pretty good. Well, I cleaned the plate. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> Anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching. And I know for a fact there's got to be some way to bake that crust with the ingredients so it doesn't fall apart. And I, I might have missed that step somewhere, but that's all right. That's all right. Boom. Pizza pie.